It may have been windy across the board on this Saturday, but it was warm as well. That southerly wind boosted our temperatures widespread 70s. 66 in Devils Lake, 72 in Valley City for today. 71 was a high temperature in Fargo, 73 in Grand Forks and Fergus Falls. How about 74 out in Bemidji and Baudette? Even a little sunshine did make that feel pretty good. We're mostly cloudy right now here in Fargo. Temperature of 69 at this hour. Wind is gusting to 38 miles per hour. Our peak wind gust today in Fargo has been 48 miles per hour. Temperatures across the region, Grand Forks and Thief River, Bemidji all at 69 degrees as well. 72 out in Bismarck, 67 in Jamestown, 66 still in the Devil's Lake area, 72 in Fergus Falls. We do have some showers and even some thunderstorms moving into central and eastern North Dakota. A cold front is just behind this line of showers and storms. These storms up that moved through Minot did produce some small hail and there's plenty of lightning in with this storm too, just to the northeast of Moberg, South Dakota, and these are lifting up to the north and east. So I do expect some showers and storms across the valley for tonight. What the question is, is severity. Hail and wind look to be the primary threats. Isolated wind gusts to 60 miles per hour in these areas shaded in brown, so primarily our eastern North Dakota counties. Again, those gusts to 60 miles per hour. As for hail. The threat doesn't look to be quite as high, uh, but we're still in that isolated threat in the areas, same areas as the wind threat shaded in brown there for ping pong ball sized hail, which is an inch and a half in diameter. The chance for tornadoes very low, but not zero for our far, far westernmost counties shaded in green there. It does include the cities of Carrington, New Rockford, Madoc, and Candu, but overall that threat very, very low. Here's what it looks like for the rest of our evening. These showers and storms that were out towards Minot continuing to push into northeastern North Dakota and the storms currently down by Mobridge lifting through the Southern Valley. What I'm most concerned about for tonight is not the severity of these thunderstorms, although that is going to be important. What I'm more concerned about is the locally heavy rainfall on our already high river levels. Those storms are going to be fairly quick moving and weakening through the overnight hours as they move into Minnesota, but we're still going to be dealing with areas of moderate to heavy rainfall by the time you wake up tomorrow. Scattered showers, not quite as heavy through much of the day for tomorrow, but in the evening can't rule out a few more areas of locally heavy rainfall and thunderstorms. And then again, overnight Sunday into Monday morning, another band of heavy rain and storms lifts from the south to the north. So not only do we have the first alert weather day for tonight for those storms and locally heavy rainfall, we have another first alert weather day for Monday, primarily in the morning. Here's an outlook on what we might expect between tonight and Monday night as far as rainfall potential. These areas in orange here in the far south and into Minnesota, that's where you could see two to three plus inches of rain. Be keeping a very close eye on that uh, and how it might impact river levels. But we have several chances of rain in the upcoming forecast. Don't forget, tomorrow is Mother's Day. Give your mom a call. Hi, Mom. If you're watching, I'll call you tomorrow. Temperatures, though, for the rest of the week, check out Thursday. 83 degrees. Oofta. For me, that's a little too warm <laughs> yet this early in the season, especially because it's going to be coming with some humidity and another oh. chance for some thunderstorms. Well, I'm ready, girl. I don't know about <laughs> you, but all right, we'll take it. All right, thanks so much, Summer.